All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video, West Brom versus Rotherham at the Hawthorns. Last four games, we've been absolutely brilliant. You know, we've won all four, three clean sheets. Last game, 2-1 win against Sunderland. Um, you know, Rodic getting a goal, DK getting a goal. It was a really good second half performance and it was good to see DK back on the score sheet. Uh, it was Rodic's birthday the other day, I think. So I'm expecting another good performance from him today. Um, you know, Jed Wallace is absolutely superb as well. Um, as you all know, with the, the club lost the doctor the other day, Julian. Um, and it was really sad news. So they will be paying a tribute to him. So I just want to say thoughts and everything are with his family. Um, there was a girl as well called Liberty who lost her life. She was 16. Um, she sadly lost her life. They'll be doing a clap on the 16th minute, which I did post on my Twitter to try and raise awareness. And hopefully it does happen. Um, I'll definitely be joining in. Again, thoughts and everything are with her family. I can't imagine what they're all going through. Um, but onto a more positive note, I've become a dad. Um, finally, my son was born on the 1st of December. That's why I haven't really been on here that much because been really busy it's honestly a blessing you can you don't feel love like it until you've had your own child honestly um really special moment for me so i want to thank everyone who's messaged me and everything um on to the game i think west brom will win today 100 percent. i've got no doubt in my mind but that might come back to bite me but i'm gonna say a 3-0 west brom win i'm gonna say jed wallace to score I'm going to say DK to score two. I'm I'm just really confident at the minute. The way Corbahan's got us playing is special. Uh, it reminds me of the days under Billich, to be honest. Uh, you know, look, the glory days under Billich. And you never know. We put a run together. You never know where we could end up. But, Liam, what do you think? Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to say 2-0 Albion. Um, DK to get both. Yeah, and I think he'll score two. I think we've turned around. I'm not underestimating Rotherham, but I'm gonna. I think we'll win today quite comfortably. All right, guys. We'll see you in the cricketers. Safe journey to all the Rotherham fans coming down because it's freezing and everything. It's so close to Christmas. So anyone who does uh, come down, big respect to you because you know it's an expensive time of year. So come on, Albion. See you at the cricketers. <laughs> All right, guys, joined by George. Score prediction? Right. I've got a bit of stick on the last video. And you know what? I don't care. I'm staying boring because we're actually winning games on and being boring. And I think you know what I'm going to say, don't you, Connor? 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one draw. Goal scorers. I'm going to say UK and um, I don't know a single Rotherham player. I actually don't know. Wait, name a Rotherham player. I don't know, but... Just, do you know what? I've got into the time. I, I don't know. Someone will score for Rob. Score prediction. No, no. No, no. no. <laughs> you can go on if that's going to be the score. I'm like boring. Score prediction. I think we're on rampant today, and I think after I've seen what we did with Sunderland in the second half, I think we're 3 0. So I said 3 0. Goal prediction. We'll go for a one nil. Goal scorer. Yeah, yeah. Right, you don't know any of my players. Uh, no, no, no. Goal scorer for you. DK. DK. Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> oh right. Yeah. Um, Jed Wallace. Jed Wallace will get one today. DK or the other two. Come on, Albion. All right, guys. Joined by Darren and Jonathan, regulars of the channel. Darren. Score prediction. I say three one to the Albion. Goal scorers. Wadditch. DK and BTA. I'll take that because I said 3 0 myself. Jonathan, Crazy Shadow. Well, we've uh, come off the back of four very good wins. Uh, hoping this is the fifth. I'm um, predicting a 2 0 win. Um, DK and Thomas Asante off the bench. Quick question, Darren. Four wins in four games, three clean sheets. Things are looking good, yeah? Yeah, definitely. What do you think of uh, Corbahan's style of play? It's okay, it's definitely bare dead bruises. Oh yeah, it reminds me of uh, Billich a little bit, Jonathan. Yeah, absolutely, and I mean, the chance of uh, reflected that as well. 
chance for Corbran is similar to the Bilic chances chance that we did uh, for, for Slavan. But um, yeah, I mean it's uh, it's working. I mean something's obviously you know happening more than it was under Bruce. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, four wins out of four. Can't argue with that, really. Hopefully five. Give us an up the Albion. Up the Albion. Up the Albion. Age 63. A highly respected doctor, Jules, joined the Maggies in 2018, having earned a glittering reputation across professional sport. The thoughts of all of the Hawthorns are with everyone affected by his passing, and the club sent its heartfelt condolences to Jules' wife, Celia, and the Willowson family, who joined us pitch side this afternoon at this desperately sad time. We ask that supporters join us in a minute's applause as we pause to remember Jules and celebrate his life, beginning on the referee's whistle. Jed Wallace, I did say he'd score. Come on, Al. guys 1-0 West Brom looking really really good yet again so many chances probably should be like 2 or 3-0 up we've had a lot of chances like I said I said to um, Jed Wallace's dad last night that I think Jed Wallace will score and he does he's such a good player he gives 100% every game I think DK's played well I think he's held up the ball really well um, I think they've all had a good game your crust lose look good to me Liam what do you think? good performance um should be more than one, arguably. I mean, I don't think Rotherham have really been in the game. We're playing some good stuff. I think we'll get the second goal. But um, I think it needed our times. It did go a little bit flat. Mm. And then we had that good chance right at the end. Um, there was a foul the ref gave. God knows why. We could have, it could have potentially been 2 at that point. But um, yeah, I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing. Come on, Albion. Come on, Albion. Hopefully, more goals, second half. Albion, come on!
to be honest with you. Never really had any doubt for this game, to be honest. But I think my brother and have only really had one chance. But we're playing so well today. Jed Wallace is running his heart out. DK played well. Sante's come on. Gardner Hitman's come on. Leon Garner pretty much scored with his first touch of the ball. It's really, really good so far. If we can keep this up, five wins out of five. Get the clean sheet, four wins out of four clean sheets out of five. It's looking nice. good. Come on. Yeah. Penalty Albion. Come on, Albion, make it free. Come on. Come on, Albion! Yes, uh, guys, joined by Jonathan, Darren. Darren, yeah. you said 3 1 Rotherham, you was just one goal off. What did you make of the game? I don't mind. It, at least it's an Albion clean shirt. As long as we get a win, that's yeah, all that matters. That's all that matters. Five wins in a row. I know. What did you make of that? Ah, oh, best record we've been on this season. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Jonathan? What, you said 2 0? I, I said 2 0, same as Liam. Um, so, obviously, the penalty, you know, um, screwed up my prediction. But, you know, I don't mind. A win is a win. You know, and um, I'm glad of Brendan Thomas Asante. Yes, it was a poor penalty, really. But he had the wherewithal to um, hit the rebound, you know, because not many players would do that. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy with one. That's five in a row now, as you said. Um, and four clean sheets out yeah, of five. Four clean sheets out of five as well. And the only goal we've conceded in the last five games was a penalty. So if it weren't for that on Monday against five Sunderland, clean sheets, it would have been five clean sheets. Give us um, an up the Albion again. Up the, up Albion. the Albion. All right, guys, full time, three 0 Got my score prediction right. But to be honest, it wasn't all about that for me. It was just about you know continuing the good form. Um, four win, five wins out of five. Sorry, four clean sheets out of five. You can't knock the performances. Corbahan's been brought in to do a job and he's doing it. And like I said earlier, it reminds me when we was playing under Bilic. It's so exciting. You always think you're going to score when you're on the attack. Liam? Superb. I can't believe what I'm watching. Like, I had a feeling that um, under Corbahan, I had a feeling we'd start playing better. But five wins in a row, like a few weeks ago, you would just not have imagined. Five. You couldn't even imagine one win. No, let no. Alone five. It's, it's ridiculous. It's such a good performance from the lads. It just shows what we're capable of. And so many players seem to be, you know, performing to their best levels. And let's just hope we can get better and better, man. You just, you know, let's, let's see how far we can go with this. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.